Welcome to a new video from Aleshop and today I want to show you how you should properly clean and maintain your soldering tips. Regular cleaning and maintaining the soldering tips of your soldering iron is essential to extend the lifetime of your soldering tips. If you do not take proper care of your soldering tip, it will oxidize and it will drastically reduce its ability to transfer heat. Oxides do not only affect the heat transfer, but it also prevents the solder from wetting or sticking to the soldering tip. Therefore, it is important to regularly clean and maintain your soldering tip. And that is why I will be showing you several important steps and tools to keep your soldering tips clean. In a previous video, I have explained and showed how to properly solder with a soldering iron. I've also mentioned at what temperatures you should set a soldering iron and how to properly maintain a soldering iron. The step-by-step -step procedure that I mentioned in the video to keep the soldering tip in a good condition while and after soldering went as follows. First of all, turn on your soldering iron and set the temperature of the soldering iron somewhere between 300 degrees Celsius and 330 degrees Celsius for lead solder or somewhere between 320 degrees Celsius and 350 degrees Celsius for lead-free solder. Leave the soldering iron in the holder until it is heated up. If you set the temperature of the tip unnecessarily high, flux inside solder will burn on the tip and it will increase the rate of the tip oxidizing. Instead, use a larger soldering tip if the heat transfer is not enough. Before you start soldering, make sure to clean the tip before you start melting any solder. Make sure to regularly clean your tip with some brass wool or a sponge while soldering to prevent oxidation. Whenever you rest the soldering iron in the holder for a short time or you are done soldering, apply enough solder on the tip and make sure it is fully covered in solder, again to prevent oxidation. If you're not going to use the soldering iron within 5 minutes, Turn the soldering iron off or make sure the soldering station goes into a sleep mode. However, when a soldering tip is fully oxidized, solder does not wet anymore on the soldering tip. In that case, when thinning the soldering tip is not possible anymore, you can try cleaning your soldering tip with a tip thinner. Tip thinner should only be used as a last resort since it can damage the coating of the tip itself. Preventing oxidation is better for the tip than deep cleaning it, so do not use tip thinner as a replacement of the usual cleaning steps I mentioned before. However, you can use tip thinner as follows. Heat your soldering tip to a high enough temperature, which is in this case for this chip quick thinner, between 370 degrees Celsius and 425 degrees Celsius. When the tip has reached the set temperature, push the tip in the thinner paste and wait a couple seconds. During the melting of the paste, the paste will clean the soldering tip and put a lead-free coating over the tip. Afterwards, take the tip out of the paste and remove any remaining chemical paste on the tip with some brass wool or a damp sponge. Finally, you can put the soldering tip away and turn it off after you have left some new solder on the soldering tip. Basic cleaning of a soldering tip is done either with brass wool or a damp sponge. There are some advantages of using brass wool to clean your tip compared to using a damp sponge. First of all, brass wool removes small solder particles better from your solder tip than a damp sponge does. Furthermore, brass wool decreases the tip temperature less than a damp sponge does. Lastly, brass wool needs less maintenance than a sponge because the water inside a sponge evaporates and therefore you need to add water to the sponge regularly. If you want to work faster and more efficiently, you can also choose to buy a CLMU soldering tip cleaner. This device can save you about 2 seconds every time you have to clean your soldering tip. This time difference does not seem large, but for instance, in the case of assembly line work, this machine can save you up to an hour of work per day. The cleaner is equipped with a sensor that can detect if a soldering tip is close by, so the cleaner starts rotating the brushes and stops rotating as soon as it is further away again. This JBC CLMU soldering tip cleaner can be combined with different types of brushes. For instance, you have metal brushes and synthetic fiber brushes. 
Both brushes have very soft strands, but synthetic fiber brushes are more gentle in cleaning than metal brushes and thus are more useful for cleaning very small or very thin soldering tips. Metal brushes are in general more commonly used. So to summarize, I've mentioned a step-by-step -step procedure on how to keep your soldering tips in good condition while and after soldering. Furthermore, I've shown you how you can use a tip thinner as a last resort to clean your soldering tip if it is fully oxidized. Lastly, I've shown you several tools you can use to regularly clean your soldering tip while soldering, like brass wool, a sponge or a CLMU. Basically, the most important steps to extend the lifetime of your soldering tips are regularly cleaning your soldering tip with some brass wool while soldering, and you should fully cover the soldering tip with some solder every time you put away the soldering iron. Also, turn the soldering iron off or put it into sleep mode if you're not going to use it within 5 minutes. In the end, if your soldering tip is fully oxidized and the previous steps do not work anymore, you can always try using a tip thinner. But now, I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you at the next video.